Welcome back. We have a tragedy here in Fairbanks, Alaska, April 23rd, around 10 a.m. You can see this aircraft is totally on fire. Um, this is not a scene that firefighters want to come to. You can see the smoke in the distance. We would have to definitely make sure we put mass application of foam on here, surround and drown, and we want to prevent any type of uh, further burning of the forest. So you don't want this to spread and turn into a forest fire that gets away from us. You can see there is some wind here this day. Um, the aircraft was in the air for about four minutes. Alaska air fuel. There you can see something happened to the left engine and it took a left bank around 10 a.m. Let's see if I can get closer, uh, get another look at that that engine before it banked. So NTSB is definitely going to be on scene. There it is. You can see the little puff of uh, smoke there and the fire to that engine. So there was two on board. Sadly, they did not make it. It was this aircraft here. Douglas DC-4, November 3054. Victor was the tail number. Here's the flight aware. The aircraft was climbing to 1,500 feet. Left engine exploded. And then that steep left bank. Here's the Fairbanks International Airport. And then shortly after, four to six minutes later, right around here somewhere on this Tanana River. So there's environmental factors here too. You can see it's next to a river and a lot of wildlife. So got to be careful with the foam, with the fuel. Just take everything into consideration as a firefighter. Look for survivors, assist FAA and NTSB, um, and then check what kind of cargo. Look at the flight manifest, how many people were on board, all these type of things. Um, it's, it's definitely a lot that happens um, after the fire is out. Um, so a tragedy again, if you want to watch another DC-3 where 14 people survived, you can watch it here. Thanks for the support. This is Arfadam Kioni. I'll see you guys next time.